right, it's time for the next group of losers. Team Furious, the Wolf, the Wolf. That's his man, it's a C6 Corvette. A Gaijin racer, the Wolf, gained his nickname by eating tuner cars with his imported Corvette, fucking Vor. Vor in Fast and Furious. Uh, while his C6 is known to be unmodified, it is still a formidable presence on the Wong Gun. The Wolf has taken criticism from rivals and purists for keeping the standard hydromatic four-speed automatic transmission, but his track re record speaks unapologetically for itself. What? Unapologetically is a very long word. That almost took the entire line. <laughs> Damn, dude. And an interesting decision to have an unmodded vehicle for a top speed battle. That'll definitely play well with my nitrous oxide. <laughs> what an interesting creative decision by this dude. Alright, here we indeed go. It's the next group of losers. Let's do the vroom vrooming. Yeah, his unmodded Corvette. Well, I mean, he's got, he's got, he, okay, I'll give it to him. He's got a good 0 to 60. But will his top speed match mine? Yeah, dudes, we're turning right immediately. Immediately we turn right, so we didn't, so, like, not wasting my boost at the start was a great decision, as it turns out. As it turns out, I'm a genius. So, here we are. He's only made it up to 162. I kind of want to try this without using boost, but I kind of need to use boost, so... Yeah, basically. Okay, body slam that wall there. Very good, very good. It's always good to know that you don't actually have to try in these games. But I actually enjoy this way of playing these games way more than fucking Burnout 3, where you just slightly tap the goddamn wall and you're sent flying into the sunset. And then it respawns you in last. You know, I don't, I don't really like that very much. It's kind of annoying, actually. It's kind of annoying, actually. Oh my goodness, he's slowing down for traffic! Maybe, maybe I should do the same, but, you know. You know. Yeah, his uh, acceleration is very good. But unfortunately, he's not very good anywhere else. And that is, in fact, the end of the race. Yay! We completed another event. And got $6,000 for my troubles. Woo! Yeah, you get so much money dumped on you in this game. It's just like... And I don't think anything loses its value. Like, I'm pretty sure the Viper that I bought was like 86000 when I bought it. And like, I could resell it for the exact same amount of money as I bought it for. So there's no depreciation in this game. Basically, you'll have all the money that you have forever. I'm not sure if it's uh, the same case in a tune shop. Where if you buy an upgrade, uh, it, it depreciates. Maybe upgrades depreciate, but, you know. I don't know, man. You can basically, like, mix and match all your parts with basically any car. Like, there's no risk for that. But I think that actually lends to the game. Like, my favorite thing in Midnight Club 3 was just modding cars. Like, not even playing the game. is modding cars and, um, uh, doing custom waypoint races. If you want to know what's up in the Tokyo tuning scene, Toshi is your man. Every racer on the Wongon knows Toshi's hot spot. A parking garage where the best of the best gather to battle. But they don't drift, they go on the fucking one gun. A 10 year veteran of a major tuning company. And the official announcer for the premier drifting series in Japan. Damn, a fellow announcer. Toshi always has his finger on the pulse of what's hot. He's even served as the technical advisor for a blockbuster Hollywood film. Wow. And then as an enthusiast himself, he owns many tuned cars, including this R34. His friendly nature makes him well liked in the scene. But if you don't know him, you're not getting in. The last thing Toshi wants is a hot spot full of posers. <laughs> Damn. Toshi's not even at his own fucking hot spot to race him at. Like, what the fuck is that shit all about? What the fuck is that shit all about, dude? Alright. 
It is, in fact, driving fast time. Let's drive fast. Woo! All right, you did not fire off very well. He does have a much better uh, coming up to speed, though. I wonder how the uh, clutch is on this GTO. Is it, a, is it a modified clutch so that it shifts faster, or is it the stock clutch? Because that might make the difference here. Anyway, um, yeah. Ooh, he hit the traffic. Oh, he hit the traffic! Excuse me. I'll be taking that position. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right. So, we are in fact in the lead. So that's good. I wonder if, is this uh, actually based off like the Tokyo Interstate? Or highway system or whatever they call it over there? Like, did they actually, when they made this game, like go over to Tokyo and like map out the actual highway system or is this just fully custom because that'd be cute like this like there's not a whole lot to this game but if they actually went the extra mile literally and went up to Tokyo and actually mapped out the fucking uh, highway system for this game that'd be cute that would in fact be cute I would appreciate the effort anyway I just won that with no nitrous yeah and I want to buy a good amount too Paul Phoenix Drift Char. And we got the O1 GTR V Spec 2. Hell yeah, dude. That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one, actually. You know, I say I never played a two player when I was little, but like, I also never really liked playing games online. So you see, the problem is, is that there's like people that devote their entire lives to playing these fucking games online, and then they're just unfucking meetable. And then there's you. Random dude that, like, has to go to work after school and gets, like, one hour at home before having to go to bed for bitch-ass school in the morning. Like, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna play, like, Euro Truck Simulator and just drive around for a couple hours? Or are you gonna get your fucking ass handed to you in, like, Red Dead Redemption Online? What are you gonna do, dear viewer? That's a Mustang. Ray. It's fucking Ray. The roaring sound of a V8 is what Razor Ray lives for. If it's not from Detroit, it gets no respect from Ray. Okay, whatever, bitch. His number one goal in the long gun is to show the Japanese Razor what a real import is. Whatever it takes is his motto. Just make sure you're not in his way. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah. If it's not from Detroit, nothing comes from Detroit. Nothing comes from Detroit anymore. Besides guns and drugs. Like... <laughs> is there, like, any car factories in Detroit anymore? Fuck. Alright, here we go. Facing off against the Mustang. So this is the car that I chose to not purchase, and I decided to get the Viper instead. Ooh, ooh, he's got some straight line speed, though. He's got some straight line speed, though. His, he's still increasing his top speed. Damn. Damn, he's still increasing his top speed. Well, we're hanging a right, though, so we're gonna not be increasing that top speed for a second. Very cool. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That was a slide right there. Sliding into them DMs. All right, let's go fast. Okay, so we've already beat his speed. <laughs> his speed is going up. I'll give it to him. He's trying. He's putting an effort. Ooh. Okay. Oh, everything's fine. This fucking game is going to ruin my controller. I, I, or Dean's controller, even. It is Dean's controller. I do not claim ownership of this controller. I wonder if Dean even watches these videos anymore. He's a good man. He got very much into, you know, political stuff when I was talking to him last, so I'm not sure where he's uh, fallen on the spectrum anymore. Both spectrums, for that matter. Hopefully, wherever he's at, he's in good spirits. Anyway. Yes. This is, in fact, Fast and Furious on PS2. I have no boost, so I cannot catch up, but the good news is I don't need to catch up, because the race is up. And it was a top speed race, so being fast didn't matter. Or, I mean, being first didn't matter. 
Ooh, we unlocked a new Impreza. That's interesting, I guess. I'd rather unlock an old Impreza, personally. I'd like to unlock an Impreza wagon. Impreza wagon would be fun, but... We would all know how much that is to ask for. Having fun in this game. That's only possible on the, uh, drifting. This series is gonna last us into, like, fucking... May of next year. Like, we're gonna have so many parts of this to upload. I just uploaded part three. I don't know if I really wanted to admit that just now, because this shit's not going up probably for another, you know, three months. Brian O'Connor! <laughs> It's the man. It's the man that... Oh my goodness. They said he was gone. Okay. We're going straight there. The game went there. They said he was gone. And as far as anyone stateside knows, that's the truth. With things getting too hot to handle in Miami, Brian decided to leave the states behind for Tokyo. Once in Japan, it didn't take him long for his love of racing to lead him to the used car yard. After looking over his options, he picked up this used R34 Skyline GTR V-Spec 2 and got working on it. But he needed help, and that's when he found Dom. This is the official uh, story, by the way. This is the official story. Paul is still alive. He's actually in Japan. Copium. Yes, Brian O'Connor is in this game, despite not even being in fucking Tokyo Drift. He is still in this game. Somehow, some way. He figured out a way. Wow. Here we go. And his car looks absolutely nothing like any of his cars from the other movies. Like, like look at this shit. It looks like, it, once again, like it looks like Eddie's car from Need for Speed Underground. It doesn't look like a Fast and Furious car. Also, he is very fast. Speaking of being fast and being furious, Brian is both of those. Oh my god, he's fast. You'd think it would at least be somewhat fair of a race. Nah. Nah, he is incredibly overpowered. Oh my goodness gracious. Ooh, okay. We're making it happen, though. We are indeed making it happen. I am actually maybe catching up slightly. Oh, I'm... Okay, no, I'm not catching up. All right. Yeah, something tells me we are not going to be winning this. Something tells me we're not gonna win this. Yes, indeed. But yeah, um, this game was made, you know, obviously before Fast and Furious 4. Which, you know... I thought that Tokyo Drift was going to be the last Fast and Furious. It took them a long time for Fast and Furious 4 to come out. So maybe the game developers thought that, you know, the story was over. And they could do whatever they want with the, uh, with the characters. And they decided to make Brian go to Tokyo for some reason. Ooh, I've caught up to him. I have, in fact, caught up to the man. Oh, okay. Okay, here we go, here we go. Just gotta avoid this wall. Okay, that wasn't terrible. That actually was not terrible. Let's keep going fast. Come on. I can do this. Ooh, 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 uh, ah. -uh. Oh my god, no, I can't do this. The car has just come to a fucking stop from tapping the wall once. So no, I can't do this, actually. Okay, we're fucking dead. Cool, the one jutting out bit on the entire fucking highway in the entire game, and we managed to fucking hit into it and come to a complete stop. What are the fucking odds of that? Alright, well, I thought I was gonna have to go and buy an upgrade, but now it looks like I might actually maybe have a shot at winning this. Oh, we hit the traffic. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, but he's so fucking fast that I didn't even pass him before he was accelerating away. Ooh-wee. Don't hit the boss. All right, we're going slow. Let's not go slow. All right, I'm still behind him. But we're gonna not hit the wall today. There we go, very good, very good, okay. All right, we're making some solid progress. He keeps slowing down for all the traffic. Uh, okay, he's hitting the wall now. Oh my God, he's drifting. He drifting, he drifted though. 
He drift dough. All right. Oh, I gotta block him. Oh, we gotta block him. Okay. No, he's so fast. How is he this fast? Oh. oh. Okay. It's the furthest that we've made it yet. Okay. I just need to, you know, hope that it shows me where the finish line is before I see it. Okay. We're way far ahead now. Where's the finish line? Help. Where's the finish line at? Don't hit the wall. Okay. Where's the finish line at? Please, finish line. You gotta be somewhere. Oh, we're gonna have to turn before we hit the finish line. I think. No, we're not turning, actually. We're going straight. Uh, there it is. Go! Got it. Okay. Okay. Hey! I did the thing and got level 5 nitrous upgrades. Sick! That's gonna be very beneficial. Yeah, we had some Paul on Paul violence in this event. <laughs> it must be said, there were uh, many blows exchanged. Ooh. Okay, that was actually a good shot. Like, by sheer accident, the game just had a great shot, and then he hit something and slowed down and wasn't close for the rest. Wow. There's some good shots in there. Anyway, Brian O'Connor's been defeated. Oh, shit! Oh, shit, it's not over yet! Oh, boy! Oh, dear. We unleashed the lion, man. We've unleashed the lion. That's right. Team Furious isn't defeated yet. We've still got one final boss to take on in this area. Oh, my goodness. There he is. <laughs> Dominic Toretto. <laughs> $14,000 on the line. Word on the street was that Toretto went into hiding after the climactic destruction of his 900 horsepower beast during his fateful race with Brian O'Connor. Some said he hid out in Mexico. Others said the king of racers was gone for good. But recently in Tokyo, there have been whispers, rumors of a beautifully restored Dodge Charger appearing on the Wangon. Few have seen the mysterious black car, and fewer still have been able to keep it in sight. Good lord. <laughs> We're referencing the first movie, Aaron. We're out here referencing the first movie. Fuck. Yeah. I want to do a full review of the Fast and Furious franchise. That's what I want. Has anyone done that on YouTube yet? sat down and honestly ranked and reviewed all of the Fast and Furious movies. That might be something that we need to do on this channel at some point. Then I get a fucking copyright strike from Universal and the channel's gone. Yeah. Anyway, there he goes. <laughs> there he indeed goes. Let's see if I can keep up with this motherfucker. Oh, he is very fast. Not only is he fast, he is also furious. Didn't I just make that joke? Anyway, uh, we're turning left. Almost didn't hit the wall. Oh. Oh. See, he's driving a Charger. That thing should be so fat. He should have to slow down in the corners so much. But if we drive in the straightest of lines, he might be fast. Oh, okay. Here we go. Ooh. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Ooh-wee, hooey, 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 hooey. Hooey indeed. All right. Everything's fine. There we go. Just a little bump and run on the long gone. Nothing new. Nothing, uh, nothing. Okay, there he goes. But yeah, he has to slow down so much in the turns. Because the Charger's so fat. And it might have a limited top speed thanks to being a muscle car. Which would really hinder a motherfucker on the long gone. Ooh! Got him! Oh, that was a much cleaner pass! But now we're going really slow. Stop going so slow. Okay, we gotta make a left turn here. Big left turn, big ol' left turn. Block a motherfucker. Okay, where's the finish line? <laughs> Where is the finish line? Ooh. Okay, we're starting to pull away slightly. We got some really tight turns up here. Alright, uh. Where's the finish? Help! Ooh where's the finish? <laughs> Please! Oh, we're drifting. Oh, we are in fact Tokyo drifting. We are so far ahead right now. Oh, 
It's just because he's so fat. It's just because the Charger is so fat. I won so easily because the Charger is so fat. Oh, no, Dom. Well, we got his car, so that's cool. Team Furious friendship sticker, too, for that matter. And then there's a bunch of upgrades that are available at his shop specifically. So that's neat. Uh, well, there you have it. The final boss was actually easier than uh, Paul Walker. So that's good. I don't know if this is technically supposed to be the final boss of the game. Because it's kind of four different final bosses. Like, that's the first of the four final bosses right there. There's still three more to go. I don't even remember if there's a super ultimate final boss. Like, I don't know. Fuck it, uh... Letty. <laughs>